I'm really excited about the recipe today because I'm making beef noodle soup. These are all the ingredients you need, the special ones being Chinese cooking wine, rock sugar, and chili bean paste, and the braising pack. The braising pack can easily be found in the Chinese grocery store. The beef cut that I'm using today is beef shank. Now we're going to boil the beef first to get rid of all the impurity and the gunk out of the beef. So the beef I use today is beef shank. You can use any other braising meat you like, but traditionally it's either beef shank or beef ribs. And I have three slices of ginger here and a sprig of spring onion. And you're going to start from cold water and slowly bring the pot up to, to boil. I'm going to see some grey foam coming out from the pot, so I'm going to just simply skim it off. This step is really important, so to make sure that you have a very clear broth in the end. And later on we're still going to use this broth and put it in our beef noodle soup. Beef shank is quite a tough cut of meat and this is perfect for stewing. It's pretty much done. Next we're going to cut up the beef into chunks and put it in the pot. Alright, here comes the fun part. We're finally ready to make beef noodle soup. So first, you add in some sesame oil into the pot. We're going to fry up the aromatics. Ginger, garlic, and onions. Now we're adding in onions. Now just spicy chili bean paste. And this is raw sugar. If you don't have raw sugar, you can just use any um, brown sugar or raw sugar will work fine, but just pop the amount of the sugar on the recipe. Because raw sugar is naturally not so sweet, but it really gives it the same flavor that any other sugar cannot do. But if you can find raw sugar, I will highly recommend you getting raw sugar. Now we're going to caramelize the bean paste and with the sugar. And this is my secret ingredient. I'm gonna add in some tomato paste to add a depth of flavor. Again, fry it up like how you usually do when you're making pasta, right? So you wanna fry up the paste as well to give more flavor. Oh, it smells amazing right here. Some soy sauce. Now the beef is coming in. And remember the broth that we were braising the beef in? Now we're gonna pour this back in the stew. So I'll be right back. Here is the broth that we just used for the beef. And we now pour that in. And final step. We're going to add in some dried chili and some Sichuan peppercorn. This is called a braising pack, which can, which can be easily found in an Asian supermarket. But if you don't have it, let me smell what's in there. Because Okay, I smell bay leaf, white pepper, um, uh, star anise, and nutmeg. I know, I'm gonna do some research and tell you what exactly is in there, but if you can find this in the Asian supermarket, just use it because it works wonders. And I prepared some vegetables like daikon. This is daikon, probably my favorite vegetable in beef noodle soup because it just soaks up all the flavor. Carrots, we also just chopped. And this is really full cool pot. Oops, big pot for the big girl. One last final step to put 
two more sprigs of spring onion in and put the lid on. You will bring the pot up to boil and let it boil for 10 minutes and put the heat down to medium heat and let it stew for another 70 minutes. Done! Almost, not yet. Now comes dinner time. Take out the braising pack. I ended up using two. Take out ginger, spring onion, and all the bigger vegetables. Strain out the condensed broth. Add water back in to thin out the broth. Add all the meat and vegetables back in the broth and bring the pot to boil. Boil up some vegetables for garnish. I'm using bok choy here. Boil up some noodles. Okay, this is the final assembly. Some meat, some daikons, some carrots. Don't forget the bok choy. Let's see how it tastes. All right, after a full day of cooking, well, I took a break in between and I have a new outfit now because it's cold outside. We get to finally eat this beef noodle soup. I'm so excited and I'm also really hungry. So let's give it a try. It is quite a long process, but guys, this is so worth it. You guys really need to try this at home or find somebody to, to make it for you because it is really good. Anyways, it's been a long day. Thank you for cooking with me again and I'll see you next time.